So today we will fit the trigger to the gun stock. At first we will drill the holes for the entry of the trigger and I already marked it at the position and now I drill the holes. So the hole is made, the trigger fits well to the hole, only it's a little bit high, but we will cut it when the trigger plate is on. Now I will make the lock, uh, the trigger plate. I marked the end of the thick area with the saw, and now I will grind the thin area with the angle grinder. And now we have a thick area for the tongue bolt and a thin, a thin area for the trigger itself. Now we'll mark the center line with the compass. And marking the starting point for the hole for the trigger. Marking the holes. After some time of filing, the trigger goes through and now
now we give it a final shape. So one side of the trigger plate is shaped, now the opposite side. And now some polishing. There's still some fine grinding required to get out the marks from the Ys, but then the lock plate is ready for installation. And now we have to bend the trigger plate to fit it to the shape of the gun stock. a little bending. Now the shape fits the gun stock rather well and now we inlet it to the gun stock. I drilled the hole for the backside fixation and now I give the uh, trigger plate the position try to keep it on the center then marking the screw position and after this we can drill a hole for the screw position and fix the trigger plate to make the inlighting. So in cause of the problems with the installation of the brass screws at the uh, uh, butt plate Englishman French gave me the idea to use dummy screws first and I will try this right now. Now we can mark the position. And it's very necessary that the trigger don't get out by itself, that the nose in the back of the trigger will be held by the trigger plate.
So the uh, pre-carving is done. Now I will flatten the ground. Now I will give the trigger play uh, the trigger the right length for this. I put the uh, the lock on full cock and set it in. Then I take out the trigger and measure how deep I have to cut the trigger. So I measured a depth of 15.08 and you see regarding to the trigger I have to cut only a little bit. You see, this is the area I will file down and then we try again if it fits. You can see it's still a little bit big and I will take off a little bit more material. You can see now the measurement fits perfect. It's 0 0.08 millimeters or 0 0.06, uh, 7 millimeters out, and that's nearly nothing. And we reassemble the trigger with the trigger plate to the lock. And you can feel there's no movement upwards only a little bit sidewards so Now I will drill the hole for the high pin. And the hole in the trigger I make half a millimeter bigger than, uh, for, uh, than the pin.
after some adjustment the trigger fits well and also lose the cock rather good and there is no sliding on the trigger and